Welcome to section 4-2, congruence by side, 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 and side, angle, side, part 2. We're going to be focusing on the side, angle, side portion of this lesson. Given that segment AD is congruent to segment BC, what other information is needed to prove triangle ADC congruent to triangle BC? D. Well, we can establish by the reflexive property that DC is congruent to itself. This is much like examples in the previous video on Lesson 4-2. And that's by the reflexive property. So we would need to establish then that this angle here, angle ADC, is congruent to angle BCD. That would give us side angle side and the larger triangles. Here's a proof, and let's get into the given. We're given that segment HF is congruent to segment HJ. And we're told that segment FG is congruent to segment JK. Also, we're given that H is the midpoint of G. K. So H is going to split GK in half. So we're going to be able to establish that GH is congruent to KH. But we're going to need to prove that. And that's a pretty simple step or statement. We just simply write that GH is congruent to KH. And that is because of the definition of midpoint. So we can mark that and we can see that we have three sides of one triangle congruent to three sides of the other triangle. So we can write our proof statement that triangle FGH is congruent to triangle JKH. And that would be by the side 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 postulate. What other information is needed to prove triangle ABC? Triangle ABC, the triangle on the right, congruent, congruent to triangle CDA. CDA, the triangle on the left, by side, angle, side. Well, from the measures, we can tell that side AB is going to be congruent to side CD. And we will also be able to establish that this side, the common side, is congruent to itself. So AC is congruent to itself. So to prove these two triangles congruent by side angle side, we would have to establish that these two angles right here are congruent. That'd be angle ACA, yeah, ADCA. And that would have to be congruent to angle BAC. to show that these two triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. Are the triangles congruent? If we're given that RE is congruent to CA, RE congruent to CA, and RD congruent to CT, and angle R is congruent to angle T, is there enough information to prove that triangle RED is congruent to triangle CAT? Triangle RED is congruent to triangle CAT. And to properly answer this question, you look at this 
triangle, triangle red. It's a side included angle in the side. And over here, we have two sides in a non-included angle. So no, there's not enough information. And we come up to everybody's favorite part. It's a proof. Uh, Give it that angle RSG. Angle RSG is congruent to angle RSH. RSH. And segment SG is congruent to segment SH. We need to prove the triangle RSG. The triangle on the top is congruent to triangle RSH, the triangle on the bottom. We have our given. And if we look at what we got, we got a side and a side and another side here. They share that side. And if we can, we can show that this segment SR is congruent to itself, we will have side, angle, side, and we will have the included angle. So the second statement is going to be establishing that segment SR is congruent to segment SR. And that's by the reflexive property of congruence. And we have enough to prove it. We have side, angle, side, and both triangles. So we can make our proof statement that triangle RSG is congruent to triangle RSH. And that's by side angle side. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this lesson on side, 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 and side angle side. We've got some good proof work in and some good other examples in. Uh, feel free to check out my blog and uh, my, or my YouTube channel.